Hey guys and gals, this is Sonic Hero in the Tier 9 British Medium Tank, the Centurion 7-1. And just taking a quick look behind me to see where everybody's going. It doesn't look like too many people are heading up north, so that's where I'm gonna go to support this AMX 50B. Uh, I do have good gun depression, an excellent turret, capable of bouncing uh, a number of shots on the Matlet at least. But any shots going uh, slightly above or slightly below the matlet uh, is likely to penetrate because of the uh, a low amount of armor uh, in those positions. The Centurion 71 is a pretty good hill climber. Unfortunately, the top speed is not that great. But you can see I'm holding a steady 20 climbing up here. It does take us. It still takes a little bit of time, but. It's better than other vehicles, some of the other vehicles anyway. I've got the 105mm uh, cannon equipped, so that is um, really good, actually. 390 off damage, uh, and regular shells are APCR. Okay, so the AMX 50B is unloading on the Waffentrager, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, only one shot went in. Let's see if I can get another shell in there. I've loaded uh, for my next shot an HE shell to take care of this Waffentrager and do an uh, extra damage. A low roll, unfortunately, but the next shell should do a lot more. Unfortunately, an IS-7 appears. Uh, that was not a shot from the IS-7 because... The I-7 does not get regular APCR rounds. So take a look at the minimap. It was most likely from the Centurion 7-1 on the enemy team. Uh, or, or maybe the T-54E1. Who knows. Ooh! <laughs> and that was an APCR shot from the I-7 which went straight through my mantle. Uh, and... Not looking too good for me. That was a lot of damage. 490 off damage is nothing to uh, laugh about. But since this I7 is concerned with the Amex 50B, I can put a shot into the lower plate, bounce a shell from another tier 9, and then absorb the cold shell from the IS7. That was nice. And what I really wanted to do was actual damage of the ISM instead of just tracking it there, but I still managed to uh, bounce another shell, another gold shell from IS-7. Uh, I don't think this guy's going to be too happy about that. But they both fired. I'm going to take out the one Trogger because he's still a pretty big threat. Oh! And that sounded like a giant shell hitting me and bouncing. Uh, so hopefully I, I have the reload on I-7, but that's not likely. Yeah, there he goes. He's just fired for a high roll. So actually, every shot that I-7 uh, penetrated have been high rolls. <laughs> uh, not looking too good on the health uh, right now, so I'm going to pretend that I am leaving the battle gonna head down the hill. Unfortunately for me, uh, even if that is something that I wanted to do, uh, it is not advisable because the Centurion 71 does not have a very good top speed. I wouldn't actually be able to get into a position to help teammates fast enough. But if I come back around here, uh, um, can I get the side of the Jagdpanzer E100? Will you damage them? I can, thankfully. And then now I have to worry about the Centurion 71 and the T-54E1, uh, which can both destroy me rather easily. I'm just going to sit back and wait it out. Or at least wait for somebody to spot uh, something for me to shoot at. <laughs> ah! Unfortunately, here's the T-54E1. So I can put a shot into it. And super lucky absorb a shell <laughs> from the T-54A1 which lets the T-62A take out 
the enemy vehicle. And I'm just going to run over here in case of artillery strike. Uh, I would uh, probably be the easiest kill if you could uh, get a splash around me, get any shots close by, but uh, there he goes. And now it's just an E-75 and an M46 battle left on the enemy team. And I won't be able to get there in time. Uh, so we'll take a look at the front of my vehicle. That's where some of the shots went through. Um, but it doesn't look just like there are too many shots, uh, too many penetrating shots that I can see. I'm pretty sure one of them was through the Madlit by the IS-7. Uh, but here you go, that was on a three times event, and here's the <laughs> amount of damage I blocked, which is really nice. Uh, oh yeah, 1050 from the Panzer U100, uh, two shells from the Centurion 7-1, and then of course the T-54E1 who just put a shot into my tracks. So that was uh, really nice, 980 points of experience, two kills, 2382 damage done to the enemy. Uh, HOS fired 8 hits, 7 penetrations, so it's a very good and accurate cannon. Lots of penetration as well, 14,805 credits earned with a premium account. Uh, only a measly 1,538 with a non-premium account. Uh, but bouncing 6 shots uh, was really nice. Uh, and the unfortunate IS-7 blasting straight through my mantlet. <laughs> and then uh, charging into to uh, take shots into my hull is um, not too fun, but I managed to survive that. Thanks for watching, please press that like button, leave some comments, and I will see you in future videos.